In order to find the directivity, we need to find the normalized radiation intensity, F. And in order to find F, we need to find S. S, for free space, will just have E, which is a phasor in the theta direction, over 2 eta naught. And so here, if we plug in the magnitude of E, and also note eta naught is sometimes written as 120 pi. So if we plug all that in and simplify it a bit, we're going to get 15 i naught squared over pi r squared and times that this whole cosine expression. Now notice when you might have noticed this already, but uh, notice that the pi over 2 and the cosine theta are all inside this cosine term. And of course this is going to be squared. Alright, now for f, we're going to take s and divide by s naught or s max. So we're basically just going to take out the coefficient and we're just left with what's in the parentheses squared. So we can put that here. And then finally to calculate the directivity, we have 4 pi over omega p and we know omega p, beam pattern solid angle, is f integrated over the surface of a sphere. So which we can short, write in shorthand as integrating over double integral over 4 pi of d omega. And we can recognize that this expression is equal to the one that's given up here. So as we integrate over the surface of a sphere, we're integrating theta from 0 to pi and phi from 0 to 2 pi. And for f, we're plugging in the brackets squared. And the brackets squared is exactly what is inside of this integral being evaluated. So this means that this integral has already been evaluated for us and it is equal to 2.44 pi. So that means the directivity is 4 pi over 2.44 pi and that will be equal to 1.64. Next, find the effective aperture or area of the antenna in terms of square wavelengths.